my dear students of class 8a and ib <coughs> the points mentioned in the board look at it first point outcome of the revolt of 1857 second point formation of inc third annulment of the partition plan fourth the lucknow pact fifth importance of formation of the inc first one outcome of the revolt of 1857 the revolt of 1857 which played most significant role in indian history for the cause of protest of indian sepoys for the first time against the british although the revolt of 1857 failed to achieve success yet it left vivid impression among indian people that indians could make agitation against foreign rule the people of india would never think that they could start agitation revolt against foreign rule it is due to the efforts of indian sepoys the indians all indians got themselves united not all but a large section of indians they did not get themselves involved and as a result of it the sepoy mutiny or revolt 1857 was suppressed by the british but in a nutshell we can say almost all not almost all people of india they had great sympathy for the revolt of 1857 and the sepoys but un unfortunately a large section of indian people they did not get themselves involved in it the talukdars the zamindars they remain neutral and those who are taking benefits at the cost of the british they favored the british but not the indians but one fact is correct that is the revolt of 1857 shook the foundation of the british rule in india the british never thought that indians could raise their voice against them indians could make agitation against them indians could get themselves united against them but for the first time they realized that indians could do it that's why it paved it paved the way it paved the path for the rise of indian nationalism my dear students the revolt of 1857 gave a birth of indian nationalism second point formation of inc as i told you the revolt of 1857 paved the path for the rise of indian nationalism it gave the birth of indian nationalism and hence the people of india realized that they must have their own political 
organization. They needed an all Indian political organization through which they would work for the cause of the motherland, for the cause of the people's welfare, for the cause of make, make for the cause of making the country free from British rule. Although they also realized it that it was not so easy work to them, but time consuming. But the process by which they decided to make agitation, decided to organize political organization, increased their confidence. As a result, the British followed the policy of divide and rule, the same policy, in order to weaken the unity between the Hindus and Muslims. Next point, annulment of the partition plan. You know, INC means Indian National Congress was established in the year 1885 by A.O. Hume. In my previous class, I, do, I taught you about this. I taught one point about that. The first all Indian political organization was set up by Surendranath Banerjee. He named it Indian National Conference. It was established in the year 1883. But two years later, A.O. Hume, one ex British civilian, set up INC, means Indian National Congress. Surendranath Banerjee did not want to work individually and felt that their unity, cooperation for each other was essential to them. That's why his All Indian Political Organization Indian National Conference was merged with Indian National Congress in the year 1885. But afterwards, annulment of the partition plan with the help of the members of the Indian National Congress, Lord Carson decided to weaken the unity between the Hindus and Muslims. That's why he adopted the policy of the partition of Bengal in the year 1905. He implemented it. But the people of India, they did not accept it. They discarded it. The Swadeshi movement was started by the Indian Congress leaders. The boycott movement was started by the people of India. It was encouraged by the Congress leaders. The Bhanga movement also was started by the Indian, Indian people. Why? in order to protest against the partition plan of Bengal. But under 
ह्यूज प्रेशर अंडर एक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस एंड रेवल्यूशनरी मीन्स द ब्रिटिश रियलाइज इट दैट implementation of the partition plan would invite dissolution would invite more political tension more active agitation more active revolt against them that's why the british government annulled it in the year 1911 the partition plan was withdrawn next point the lucknow pact you know in the surat session of the congress the congress and the muslim leagues muslim league decided to act separately not only that the two wings of the congress were separated why because the moderates means early nationalists wanted to organize movement against the british within bengal itself but the radicalists means radical leaders decided to spread spread the movement to spread it to spread the movement throughout india bal gangadhar tilak came from maharashtra to give it a shape of an all indian movement since he belonged to radical radical group he got massive support from the radicals of bengal ultimately the movement was not you know the movement was not controlled by the moderates from bengal only the moderates held that the people of bengal wanted to make it an all indian movement on the contrary the moderates thought that the swadeshi movement should be confined within bengal itself no need to spread it throughout the country but the radicals were strongly supported by bal gangadhar tilak of maharashtra so under this huge pressure the british was compelled to withdraw the partition plan in the year 1911 both the two communities the hindus and the muslims realized that felt that cooperation from both both sides 
was very important to them. Meanwhile, the Congress accepted their rights for participating in the legislature, legislative council. Some seats the Congress decided to be reserved for the Muslims. It was the main demand of the Muslim League. Ultimately, the Congress accepted it. And so, the Muslim League decided to work with the Congress together. The Muslim League decided to work together with the Congress. And ultimately, the Lucknow sessions for both the two political organizations of India, the Muslim League and the Congress, were, were conducted from Lucknow in the year 1916. The Lucknow session was a historical session. Why? Because the Muslim League and the Congress, Indian National Congress, INC, unitedly organized the Lucknow session of Congress in the year 1916 in Lucknow. A pact was signed named Lucknow Pact between the Congress and the Muslim League. Both of them decided to work together for the freedom of our country. The next one, importance of formation of INC. Importance of formation of INC. INC means Indian National Congress which was formed realized the British that an all Indian political organization could work for making the country free for providing the people of this country their independent rights, their liberties, so that they must consider the Britishers to be their friends but not enemies. A.O. Hume, an ex-British civilian, formed INC, Indian National Congress. The British thought that INC means Indian National Congress would work at the safety valve of the British government. Safety valve of the British government. Now why did he quote it? He realized that it was established by an ex-British civilian A.O. Hume who would always safeguard the interest of the British, British government also. They had believed, the British had believed on A.O. Hume that he would never betray with the British, but cooperate with them. But ultimately A.O. Hume
proved that he wanted to he wanted to bring about a reconciliation between the british and the indian national congress formation of inc encourage indian congress leaders to work confidently and to frame new new programs for the growth and development of the people of india ultimately the people realize that with the help of inc all indian national congress indian national congress they are interested their interests would be safeguarded and the british would never the british would never isolate them from the mainstream of life on the contrary their rights would be accepted by the british for their all round development up to this my dear students